Hello there. This video will show you how to set up and use your own Verifile public upload page. Your public upload page is a custom web page where anyone can easily share documents and messages with you through Verifile. Your public upload page will display your logo and a custom message from you to anyone who might visit your page. And the page is extremely secure, using the same patented encryption technology, CelluCrypt, to encrypt any documents and messages that are shared with you on the public upload page. When you set up your page, you'll be given a custom link with your own personalized handle that you can add to your website or as a part of your email signature, making it extremely easy to share the link with anyone you'd like. So let's jump right in and I can show you how it works. Okay, you can see my Verifile home screen here. I've got the logo of my business here at the top, Mallerson Inc. My workspace is here on the left. You can see my contacts here too. To access the public upload page settings, I'm going to click my name in the top right corner of the screen and then click account settings to go to my account settings page. Now I'm going to scroll down here and look for public upload page and click it. This is where I'll be able to create my public upload page. So the first thing I need to do is choose a handle. Now you can only choose your handle once and you can't change it once it's been chosen. So you're going to want to make sure you use something that's a good representation of you or your business. I'm going to use the name of my business, Mallerson Inc. And you can see that the public upload link that I'll get will be verifile.com at Mallerson Inc. I also have the option to change this custom message here. So we have a message here already, and you're welcome to use this one, but you could also change it to anything you like. Now, if you don't see an activate page button here, then you might have to upgrade your account in order to have access to this feature. To upgrade your Verifile account, just scroll down to the subscription settings area and click show options and then you'll see the menu where you can find the plan you'd like to subscribe to that includes the public upload page. So I've created my handle and I've added my message. I'm gonna click activate page. I'm getting a warning here telling me that the handle can't be changed. I'm gonna click okay. And that's it. My public upload page is now active and you can see my handle is right here. So I can still click this and see my options, including my link, which I can just simply copy, and my message. And in this area, I can choose to disable my page or make changes to the message and click save if I'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link and show you what it looks like when a new visitor visits your public upload page. Here we are in a different browser. So I'm just gonna paste my link right here. You can see it, verifile.com slash Mallerson Inc. This is my custom link to my public upload page. And this is what it looks like. You can see my logo, my custom message, and this is a place where anyone can securely share documents and messages with me. So you can imagine someone received an email from you and they found the link to your public upload page and your email signature and they clicked it. This is where they would go. So let's see how it works. I'll go ahead and type a message. Now the visitor to your page can click the select attachments button. Choose a couple documents, and then they'll click next. I'm just going to enter the email address for our support account for the purpose of this demonstration. And click next. Now they're asking for the first name and last name of the person who wants to share documents and messages with you. Click next. This is called a CAPTCHA. 
This is just to make sure that the person trying to submit documents to you isn't a robot. So it should be pretty easy for them to check that box. And now the person will need to check their email for a code that will be required for them to enter here in order to finalize the sharing process. So I'm going to go ahead and look for that email and find that code. Okay, I've got the code. I'll enter it now. Click Next. And the documents have been shared. So when that user shared those documents and that message with you, a new contact was created for that user on your contact list inside Verifile. And the documents and messages were submitted to the private message thread you have with that contact. And the submitter has the option here, if they want to, to click view what you shared to be taken into their own Verifile account to see the documents and the message that they shared with you. It's that simple. Thanks for watching.